hope you all are doing good so in this video we are going to see the walkthrough of account takeover lab number six before that if you haven't tried the lab by yourself then i recommend you try that and also do check out our website if you are new to our channel which is bepractical.tech here we have awesome contents related to web development as well as cyber security and we have awesome labs related to cyber security and web development as you can see over here in the lab section and all of these labs are based on real world scenarios so yeah do check them out and finally let's get started for this video so first of all let us head over to lab number six and as you can see this is the web application and now what we need to do is we need to find those points those functionalities that are directly or indirectly interacting with uh, accounts right with database so there are three fun uh, functionalities actually as you can see this is the login functionality the sign up functionality and the forgot password functionality right so we need to test for account takeover vulnerability in each of these functionalities so first of all let us try with the sign up functionality so how we can uh, perform account takeover using sign up functionality simply we can create two accounts with the same username or maybe same email address and if the application is allowing us to do so then it means that there is an account takeover vulnerability and we can uh, perform account takeover so first of all let us try to create a simple account so i'm going to create a simple account like test123 at the rate bpractical.tech password let's say batman batman click on sign up and as you can see it is showing that i've registered let's head back to login again and here let's try to log in test123 at the rate bpractical.tech batman let's wait for a few seconds and as you can see i got logged in into the account now let us try to see whether we can create a same account with the same email address so i'm again going to click on sign up and now i'm going to create an account with the same email address 123 at the bpractical.tech password batman batman uh here we can just change the password right so instead of batman i can type spiderman spiderman let's click on sign up and as you can see it is allowing us to create two accounts with the same email address right so if you click on uh, login again and uh, let's try to log in into the account but using a different password this time so we have created two accounts with the same email address right so the password for the one is batman and the other one is spiderman so i'm going to try spiderman let's click on login and as you can see we got successfully logged in into the account with the same email address right which means that there is a vulnerability now we are going to use this vulnerability to take over the admin's account since we know that the admin account is admin at the rate bpractical.tech what i can do i can just simply click on sign up and here i can create an account with admin's email address so admin at the rate bpractical uh, bpractical.tech and let's specify password of our choice so again i'm going to specify spiderman Spider-Man and uh, let's click on sign up now if we try to log in using this uh, uh, specified email address and password which is admin at the practical.tech and the password is Spider-Man we should be get logged in into this account right let's click on login let's wait for a few seconds Okay, let me retype the password. I think the password is wrong. Yeah, as you can see, we successfully got logged in into the admin's account, and here is the secret key, right? So you successfully hacked the admin's account. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. If you guys have any doubts and issues, then please let me know. And if you are new to our uh, channel, then do check out other labs for account takeovers. And all of these labs are based on real-world scenario, which means that there are some hacker that have found this vulnerability using this type of uh, attack. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And yeah, do join our Telegram channel for uh, more security, cyber security updates and web development updates. And if you guys have any queries, then you can also ask uh, ask them over there. So with that being said, thanks for watching.